Hello and welcome to Little Blessed Nest. My name is Stephanie and I just want to thank you for joining us on this journey. We have purchased a 1988 single wide mobile home. Um, this is our first time coming to look at it and as you can see it is in very rough condition. There's a lot of smoke damage, um, just a lot of damage altogether. My Dad found this mobile home. A friend of his, um, his brother had passed away and they were trying to get rid of it and were selling it to us for a thousand dollars. So, you know, we just took a leap, purchased it, and this is our journey. Fixer upper. Faux show. <laughs> So right now I'm working on cleaning all the nicotine off the walls so that we can paint. You can see how terrible, yeah, that's horrible. Um, so you can see the spots that I've cleaned and the spots that I haven't. Get rid of that, we're not keeping that. Um, we pulled all the carpet up and yeah. So my dad has been working hard and he's been working on ripping out this parquet floor. Um, it's been it's been a pain in the butt and he's worked tried everything to get this up but he's finally making some progress there's several spots in the floor that are bad and they're gonna have to be replaced these this wall was leaking so he took out all the insulation we're gonna re-insulate and then this bedroom down here this is the main bedroom and it's a hot mess but we're gonna rip out all these walls and put new insulation fix the wiring this bathroom is pretty much the stuff my nightmares are made of <laughs> this tub we're gonna rip out we're gonna reconfigure this it's whole a small room bathroom and there's no window i love having natural light in the bathroom well things are not quickly getting any better <laughs> it seems like we fix one thing and then we find new problems but that's how it goes when you're doing a fixer upper right the electrical outlets are not in a box they're wired directly to the cover so we have to get some boxes and fix that Got a new window put in. We're still working on that because you can see there's still a crack there. He did get the floor fixed right under the window and the floor fixed over here. So, we're making progress, but it's slow. It's going to take 25 sheets of drywall, my dad said, to cover... This is the living room to cover the living room, the kitchen, and then the hallway into the bathroom. And I came over here to work on pulling up the rest of the staples out of the floor in there. And I don't know what else I'm going to do. Maybe I can clean that ceiling, though. I got some TSP I saw recommended on some of the um, mobile home remodel um, groups. I got it from Lowe's. It's $10 for a box of it. So this is the sodium phosphate. This is what we're going to use. You can see that's the clean and that's the not clean. But I got all the other walls cleaned in here. And um, this is before I knew about the TSP. And I used scrubbing bubbles. Scrubbing bubbles works very well. So this is just where I sprayed um, some bleach solution on there. Just trying to help with it. Because it did have a really bad nicotine odor in this whole trailer. So my vision is right here is where there was a counter that went separated the kitchen from the living room 
And I want to take that out so it doesn't seem so crowded between my kitchen and living room. We're going to move the plumbing over here under the window. There was not a window there. We put in the window. A neighbor does windows for a living and he had this spare one that came out of a house. So he let us have it for 20 bucks and we put it in. Still need to work on it just a little bit. Um, I have to get a new back door. We're going to move the plumbing, as I said, over here. And I'm gonna, I've already bought kitchen cabinets. I got them from Habitat for Humanity Restore. And I got a really good deal on them. They were like 150 bucks. They're really nice. So that's going to be down through here. This is the utility room. Washer and dryer will be right here. I do like that I have a little pantry right here. I'm going to clean that up and paint it. I'm going to paint all the walls white. So I'm not going to have upper cabinets over here. I'm going to have whichever side the fridge is not on. I'm going to have probably two, maybe three wood shelves. And then I'm thinking I might put an island right here with an overhang so that I could put two bar stools because it's just my husband and I, we never eat at a kitchen table. In the rental home we have now, we, it's, it's huge and there's plenty of room for a kitchen table and we don't have one because we have that exact same setup. We have a huge island and two bar stools and anytime we wanna sit and eat a meal together, we sit there and it works out perfectly. Plus there's storage in the island, so. I think that's gonna be great. Gonna be great. I can't wait till we have this room finished. Like, I'm so sick of looking at this. Still working on getting all this padding up. And this. This is just terrible. So, we're gonna have to pull this up. I will probably end up having to sheetrock in here too because that's, yeah. The hot water heater goes in this closet. You need to keep up this stuff, and when I'm gone, you can look back and see me. <laughs> I'm headed that away. We finally have insulation in, and this weekend we're doing the drywall. This is what $500 worth of sheetrock looks like. Plus the mud and the tape and all that good stuff. Still gotta get a new door. Gotta finish this paint tree. We closed in the bathroom door. Made this wider. Gotta put the water heater back in here and build out the closet again. And then this is the bathroom. We made a wide bathroom door so it'll be easier for Timmy to get in and out. Gotta get a shower to put over here, fix this hole. And we're gonna move the sink from here and get a bigger one to put over here. That's the plan anyway.
Well, we're coming along. All the drywall is finished. The guy has to come and finish mudding and taping and sanding the bathroom and the closet and the bedroom. And that'll be done and then we could get everything painted. I've been working on painting the living room. We brought the kitchen cabinets in. We've got an issue with that because the sink was like just almost as wide as the cabinet. And my dad had to take some parts apart. But he thinks it's gonna fit now. But the thing is, is we don't have much room between the, in the kitchen area there. He put that window in and I wasn't even thinking like, now like the kitchen sink needs to be centered over that wind, under that window, right? So if we do that, then we can only fit those two bigger cabinets in here. And we won't be able to use the, the small one because the refrigerator has to go on that wall. So if we used all three, they're gonna come down on into the living room and I don't want it taking up more living room. So we'll have those cabinets and then I have the pantry to put food and stuff in and I'm gonna put an island in the middle there. <laughs> um, and it's got cabinets in it. So I don't know. I'm hoping that'll be enough, but I don't want the kitchen cabinets coming all the way down here into the living room because there's just you know I want to put my couch on this wall here that's the end of the wall the couch goes here you know I can't very well have the refrigerator right into the living room right here so I don't know I would like to get a smaller refrigerator like a tall skinnier one hallway looks good. They did a good job closing off this. Got the closet built. Got to paint that door. And the bathroom is coming along. We got a shower finally. And gonna put the vanity here. And I ordered, um, it's over in the floor, the rails for the barn door to go up here. So, that's what's going on there. This hallway is so much better now that they've, that it's been opened up more. It's starting to come together. So unfortunately, I didn't get much video coverage after we started laying the floor down because everything just moved so quickly once the flooring was done. But this is a photo of what it looked like once we were finished. An inexpensive flooring from Home Depot and we love it. And this is what our kitchen looked like right after we moved in once we got everything unpacked and I had done a little decorating. I was so excited to get started, you know, putting some finishing touches on things and decorating things the way that I wanted. But there's still a lot to do. We still have a lot of projects left, but we really wanted to just do everything that had to be done so that we could get moved in um, and stop paying rent. We are just so thankful and so blessed to have this home and not have a mortgage and not have any rent and everything else we can just finish as we go and you know we still need to do molding around the top the ceiling uh, we still need a back door which really drives me nuts because I hate that door it looks so bad but it'll get done along with all the other things we hope that you'll follow along as we continue to work on our little blessed nest, our little fixer-upper. We have lots more projects planned.